just a follow up ordered a different hop screen I'll post this for YouTube so I can post it on homebrewtalk.com got a thread going over there called new way to control your pellet gunk I think is the name of it uh, I don't know where the threads located I just know it's on there um, but I had this half moon um, hop strainer made so that I can leave it in while I put my immersion chiller in and out this is the first time that I'm using it um, I've already got two ounces of hops in there uh, pellet hops I stirred them in and um, that was a 60 minute addition and then I've got another well, let's just say Got another ounce going in at 20 minutes, and that's Columbus also. Then I got two ounces of Cascade going in at 10, and then another three ounces of Columbus going in at five minutes. And then I'm going to dry hop with four ounces. Um, the hop, hop out and kinda is what I said IPA because I changed it up a little bit with the hop additions. Um, I think I bumped those up. Um, as you can see, the IBUs are. A little bit off the chart for an American IPA um, but I haven't found that to be any problem as far as the palette goes but here's my, my hop additions here I got 20 uh, this one's marked 10 and then I got my 5 marked here that's how I keep up with my hops got my dry yeast I think what I may try to do today is I'm going to take the rest of this uh, leftover warp from the mash and I'm going to boil that um, and use that in two separate containers um, chilled down after I boil it to rehydrate my yeast and pour some of that in each one of my fermentation vessels which I'm just going to use buckets today back there but that's her that's how she's going to work uh, maybe I'll shoot up a part two or something there's a mash of course um, when I get done um, to uh, just maybe do a little follow up of how it came out but I'm going to go ahead and just film this all in one shot so I can uh, post it up on YouTube without, from my phone without having to edit. So, peace.